Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at the Sailing Weather Information Service, sailingweather.co.uk and also weatherweb.net. It's Monday the 27th of January. Thanks again for watching. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, we've just done a sailing weather school on Saturday. Uh, it really was good fun, so if you attended that, thanks for coming along. Um, you can get full details of the weather schools that we run for sailing um, by looking at um, weatherschool.co.uk. Uh, anyway, um, just wanted to uh, show you something on the website here, because as well as watching the video uh, that you're watching at the moment, you can also get area forecasts for the whole of the UK for your sailing. If you uh, click on area forecasts here to the left of the screen, it takes you onto our area forecast page that looks like this. You've then got a selection window where you can select the forecast area that you'd like to see forecasts for. So just choose the one that you want and you get this. It includes the initial waters, the shipping, um, a table of weather such as here. And you also get a breakdown of expected conditions as well in plain language. So hopefully you find that useful. If you're sailing in the Solent, you can choose this forecast. And this gives you a unique Solent forecast, which is totally unique to sailing weather. It gives you a full breakdown of conditions for sailing in the Solent. It's written by our forecaster, so you might find that useful as well. Anyway, on to the forecast. Let's take a look at things. This is the chart for today. Give you an idea of where we are right now. Low pressures to the west of Scotland at the moment. We've got west to southwest is blowing at sixes and sevens to the south of the country. Sixes and sevens up through the Irish Sea. We've got uh, south is blowing again, sixes and sevens across Scotland. Although slightly lighter for the eastern coast of England, southwesterly force five. Now that area of low pressure slip southwards through Tuesday. It has showers and bands of rain rotating around it, so just be aware of that. Some of those quite heavy and reducing visibility. Wind-wise, we're into a southwesterly, I think, through the channel during the course of Tuesday, and I think it will be pretty strong too. We're going to be looking at sevens, occasionally touching at an eight, I think, through the channel on Tuesday. Northwesterly and feeling cold as well on that northwesterly probably around a five through the Irish Sea, but touching six at times further west. I think across northern Scotland, we're into the east here with uh, winds probably up to a six, perhaps touching a seven just about, and along these eastern coasts, south is blowing at sixes and sevens here. Although, up per the coast of East Anglia, south is here blowing at a seven. So, not a particularly great day Tuesday. On Wednesday, low pressure to the south. It will be a notably colder day through Wednesday. The winds coming into the east or the southeast. I think for many of these eastern coasts, east southeast is at a good six, probably low end seven at times. Through the channel, it's lighter, mainly an easterly wind here, perhaps around a three or a four, but feeling cold. The Irish Sea, we go into the east here, and I think we're going to be blowing at around a four or a five close to shore, six offshore. And across Scotland, well, eastern coast, we're looking at an easterly six or seven. I think for western coast, more of an east southeasterly here, perhaps a little bit lighter at a four, but five offshore. A little bit of snow too down these eastern coasts of the country that you need to be aware of, but to fairer conditions further west. Visibility towards the east probably moderate, I think towards the west generally good, but a colder day. And then for Thursday, uh, lighter winds look as if they are on the cards through the course of Thursday. Um, I think we're going to be generally coming in from an east to south easterly direction. Probably a three running up um, eastern coast, perhaps just touching a four for eastern Scotland. Through the channel area, we're quite variable, generally coming in as an easterly at a force two. And quite variable too, you can see here across western coast, I think generally westerly two here. Through the Irish Sea, we go south easterly at threes and at western Scotland, we're southerly at around a three, but perhaps a four as we head into the afternoon. Friday sees breezy conditions moving in. Um, all areas, I think, tending to see gales spread eastwards during the day. Western areas, we're looking at southwesterlies at eight, I think, through the Irish Sea, starting off as a south south easterly uh, at seven, and then increasing eight through the afternoon. Eastern coast actually faring better at first, I think, generally starting off as a southerly four but then increasing, and uh, I think by the middle of the afternoon, we are going to be in the southwesterly here at a 7, eventually becoming a force 8. Rain passed eastwards on Friday too, but by Saturday it, had cleared it has cleared towards the east. Now then, Saturday presents a bit of a problem. At the moment, I actually think that this chart is incorrect. I think what will happen is low pressure will be centred here, and that's going to be bringing a westerly to southwesterly flow 
through the country. Now, I think what that will do is bring sixes, possibly sevens, to the Western Channel. I think certainly Western Scotland would bring nines, severe gales, and I think through the Irish Sea with sevens and eights. Eastern coast probably sixes, but sevens offshore, and I think what we are going to find is an area of rain affecting many western areas. And then Sunday looks like this. Uh, we've got outbreaks of rain around during the course of Sunday. I think low pressure probably is about where it's shown on the chart too, but generally I think we're looking at westerly. I think we're going to be looking at fives and sixes in the west. I think towards the east, probably fives. I think in the south, we're going to be looking at four, and I think an eight across northern parts of Scotland. So there is just the faintest hint that there could be some sailing on the way for the weekend. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that throughout the week. And uh, you can come back for regular updates at sailingweather.co.uk and at weatherweb.net. Now, just a reminder that if you'd like to know more about uh, our sailing weather schools, have a look at sailingweather.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great week and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.